Registered Phenomena Code 035 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Extreme Temperature Hazard Ideological Hazard Newtonian Hazard Mind Regression Hazard Sentient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-035 is to be kept in a locked room at containment wing within Site-074. RPC-035's containment room can only be entered with direct supervision from at least one ASF unit and documented permission for personnel with no lower than a Level 2 security clearance. Every three days, a participant should be sent into RPC-035's containment cell after drinking no less than eight fluid ounces of the participant's choice of coffee. Additionally, at least one armed member of the Authority Security Force should accompany each participant at all times until their termination. The participant will be instructed to drink the liquid within RPC-035-1. Once the liquid inside of RPC-035-1 has been consumed, they should be escorted back to their cell before more RPC-035-1 can be consumed. The next participant in the set of five should be assigned to RPC-035 at the next scheduled time. When one of the participants has consumed 20 instances of RPC-035-1, they will be terminated. When all five participants are terminated, new ones should be assigned to RPC-035 immediately. RPC-035 is a normal-sized carmine-painted teapot with six terracotta-colored spider-like appendages made of hardened clay that protrude from the base of RPC-035. These appendages seem to peak from the lower half of RPC-035. RPC-035 has a cap that cannot be removed, despite all attempts by the Authority. Additionally, samples of RPC-035's clay revealed no anomalous properties in the material. RPC-035 is variably hot to the touch and has a recorded lowest temperature of 71.1 degrees Celsius immediately after RPC-035-1 was consumed, and the highest recorded temperature of 829 degrees Celsius after 20 days of isolation. If conditions are met, RPC-035 will manifest an ornate glass teacup, filled with two ounces of a semi-translucent deep magenta-colored liquid which is similar both in smell and taste to hibiscus tea. This is to hereby be referred to as RPC-035-1. RPC-035-1 will always retain the temperature of 71.1 degrees Celsius, regardless of RPC-035's temperature. Symptoms involving the consumption of RPC-035-1 are currently incurable and include the following. Increased aggression towards all forms of life except microorganisms. Decreased brain functionality, starting with a 10% decrease in brain function after the first instance of RPC-035-1. The presence of a clear British accent, seemingly from a southern Wales dialect. A heavy addiction to RPC-035-1. RPC-035 seems to have no melting point despite all testing by the Authority. Depending on the number of days it has gone without someone having consumed RPC-035-1, RPC-035 has a recorded lowest speed of 40 km per hour, and the highest recorded speed of 241 km per hour. The highest speed was recorded during a period of isolation, where no instances of RPC-035-1 were created or consumed. RPC-035 will roam around mindlessly when humans are not interacting with it and will only change its behavior when it comes within five feet of sapient life or senses through unknown means and obstacle in its path. If RPC-035 encounters an obstacle, it will attempt to go around said obstacle. RPC-035's behavior will change after five days if there has been no consumption of RPC-035-1, and RPC-035 will try to jump over all obstacles. Additionally, after 20 days without any consumption of RPC-035-1, RPC-035 will ignore any obstacles and will attempt to burn through them while walking repeatedly into them. When any human comes within 5 feet of RPC-035, RPC-035 will approach them. RPC-035 will proceed to manifest an instance of RPC-035-1. RPC-035 seems to be capable of doing this an infinite number of times through unknown means. 
If the human target refuses to consume RPC-035-1, RPC-035 will become incredibly violent towards the target, in an attempt to scald the human by pouring a tea-like substance onto them from its nozzle. This temperature has the same temperature as RPC-035 at the time of the outburst, and no anomalous effects have been recorded as a result of the liquid from RPC-035's nozzle. The violent outburst of RPC-035 usually ends in the termination of the target, due to severe burns to the cerebrum. Should the target consume RPC-035-1, they will immediately undergo RPC-035-1 symptoms. After RPC-035-1 has been consumed ten times, the person, hereafter referred to as RPC-035-2, will have been deteriorated into a mindless aggressive zombie-like humanoid. RPC-035-2 will carry and brandish RPC-035 and will attempt to terminate all life within its line of sight. While RPC-035-2 is active, RPC-035 will show no anomalous properties outside of indestructibility. This behavior remains constant until RPC-035-2 is terminated. When this occurs, RPC-035 will return to its normal state and continue to mindlessly wander looking for humans to offer RPC-035-1 to. Recovery Log RPC-035 was found in on RPC-035 was found by MST Zulu-5 after a police call from reporting, quote, a strange man committing a murder with a teapot, unquote, later identified as RPC-035. MST Zulu-5, codenamed Redcoats Falling, arrived at to see a floor splayed with blood and a tea-like substance, as well as five people staring down at three dead bodies, one identified as RPC-035-2, as well as RPC-035 wandering the room. Agent proceeds to take RPC-035 by its handle, and swiftly take it to on-site containment before it can react to him. At the same time, Agent was ordered to bring in the person in charge of for an interview while the rest of Redcoats Falling controlled the crowd and administered Class B amnestic to people currently in. Interview 035-1 Interviewed Jackson Assistant Manager at Interviewer Agent Redcoats Falling Officer Forward Jackson was brought to a nearby alleyway to avoid any witnesses overhearing the interview. The interviewee was still slightly traumatized after the events of RPC-035's discovery. Begin Log Sir, I need you to try your best to stay calm and tell me what happened as best as you can remember. Alright, alright. <sighs> so this lad walks in, right? He seems to be a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. His eyes snapped over to the person closest to him and he just started walking over to them. The only weird part of it was the teapot with legs in his hands. It's, it's probably some American thing, I thought. Then this bloody guy starts beating the poor lad to death with the teapot. They killed him before anyone knew what to do. Then another lad runs over and tackles him into a chokehold, and after a small struggle, the weird fella just slumps to the floor. The chuff bugger just stomped his head into a pulp in a rage. That, that bloody bloke probably cost us a bomb. Alright, that explains the first two bodies, but what about the third body? That's the weird part. I, I swear I must be dreaming or something. The teapot crawled up to the prideful bloke and just conjured a teacup with tea in it. The poor fucker says no and the teapot just leaps onto his face and pours the tea into his eyes and face. The poor fucker's face melted off. I'm just thinking about it now makes me want to chunder. Seeing his face melt and... Oh god. Jackson proceeds to vomit on the floor, visibly disgusted. Thank you. Come with me, and we'll take you back, and it'll all be alright if you just listen to us. End log. Closing Statement Agent and the rest of MST Zulu-5 successfully administered everyone who saw the event with Class B amnestics and suppressive amnestics. Jackson was able to return to work, and the day continued as normal. The police report reads that a drunken man killed two men at and was then is killed by Jackson in an act of bravery. Addendum 1 It should be noted that the effects of RPC-035-1 are doubled when ingested by anyone with a mother or father of immediate British descent. 
The reason for this is currently unknown. Addendum 2 The effects of RPC-035-1 are halved when coffee is consumed within two hours of ingesting RPC-035-1, meaning that it would take 20 instances of RPC-035-1 for an instance of RPC-035-2 to be created, as opposed to the standard 10 instances. 